Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a bit of a murky morning here in the UK, but the suitcases are packed in the car. We're driving down to Southampton and we're going on another cruise. We booked a cruise and stay option at the Holiday Inn Express Botley, which is just a few minutes from Southampton Cruise Port. This comes with taxi transfers to and from the port. A full review is available on the channel. See the link below in the description. sleep we had a relaxing breakfast before our taxi picked us up to take us to the cruise terminal On previous cruises we simply entered the cruise terminal for check-in, however this time we had to join a queue outside that corresponded with our pre-assigned arrival time, before being allowed to enter the terminal building. Check-in went very smoothly and didn't take long at all, and we were soon stepping on board Iona to begin our Christmas cruise. Just off the main atrium is the Olive Grove restaurant. We took the opportunity to book all of our specialty restaurants there for the dates and times that we wanted while they were still available. Next to the Olive Garden is the Keys, a handy place to grab some lunch as we waited for our cabin to become available. So we're 
we're in a balcony cabin on deck 14 of Iona this time. Uh, looks a really nice room, comfortable enough. Let's go into the bathroom first and take a look. So, there we go. Nice, nicely set out. Um, I think if you've seen some of my other videos uh, and reviews of rooms, you'll see it's really compares quite well. Okay, let's go in, let's take a look. Yep, you're going to see me. <laughs> okay, and we've got the shelving. And going down, let's have a look. We've got the old toilet rolls. And I think there is a cupboard. Is there a cupboard? No, there isn't a cupboard there. So some shelving, but not a cupboard. Okay, let's go into the shower. And of course a glass door, so that's good. No shower curtain. Looks a nice, nicely set shower there. Uh, you've got the White Company shower gel and shampoo. Which we always like, that's usually the case with P&O. Uh, little shelf there, pop your bits and pieces in, as you're showering. Okay. Um, so going out into the room, we've got some hanging little things to hang things on there. That's really good, some hooks. Obviously, air conditioning. Moving around, let's go and have a look in the room. So, different one to the one we had before on Iona. The bed was this side as opposed to next to the balcony, which I quite like that next to the balcony. It's really good, especially in sea days, you can lie in bed looking out to sea. Okay, let's have a look. Yes, the wardrobes, full length mirror, of course, and the wardrobes. It's going to be that thing, isn't it? Where as you open out, there we go. So as you can see, there isn't a lot of room between the end of the, the end of the sofa and the wardrobe when you're actually opening your doors up, which can be a bit of a pain. But eh, never mind. I think there's worse things. Uh, they've got your safe there. Okay. Coming down, you've got some hanging space. A little bit low, the bottom there, but you can get your things in, that's not a problem. And we've got plenty of shelving there for your t-shirts, etc. Put the shoes on the bottom. There we go there. So, and of course, you've got your mirror there, and then plenty of hanging space actually there. So that's really good actually. So, I think definitely is enough storage. I don't think that's a problem. That's not going to be an issue at all. Okay, let's have a look. Nice mirror, as you say. And oh, you can see it's Christmas. There we go. We've got the Horizon magazine. Welcomes aboard. Okay, so we've got two three pin plugs there. So that should be fine. We've got our room service, our breakfast menu on the top to the left hand side and obviously selling water. All right. <laughs> so we've got a nice television flat screen at the end of the bed. Underneath there we have got the tea making, well, we've got the kettle there and then we've got our mugs. We've got milk, biscuits, coffee there, tea bags. Ooh, which nicely folds away, that's fine on that one. We've got the phone there, not by the bed. Some storage under where the phone is. A little shelf in there, which all comes in very useful. And then, of course, shelf in there with the hair dryer. And then we come down to the fridge, which uh, 
it's a cool box more than a fridge to be quite honest but it does come in very handy if you want to pop some drinks in and things to keep cool and if you do want any ice in your room just ask your cabin steward and they'll bring it for you no problem whatsoever and you have got room under the bed for your suitcases plenty of room there once again that helps with storage good sized bed I do like the decor it's really nice very good nice big bed next to each side of the bed there is you've got your little not a cabinet but shelves you've got your switches there okay you've got a USB port underneath you've got a reading light as well as all the not so you're well catered for there I think that's absolutely fine it's a nice room and so it's definitely big enough let's go out onto the balcony yes we've got a balcony on this one fabulous <laughs> okay let's have a look out over Southampton a little bit murky plenty going on busy as you can imagine an embarkation day so actually quite a wide balcony it's really good yeah you've got your stool foot stool there little table uh, and of course you've got your chair there and there's two of those but as you can see that's a really it's a good sized balcony actually quite wide fine with that no problem so let's go back in so, oh, put the door shut I didn't slam it this time either so that's good so yeah really comfortable room um, do like the balcony can't beat it we've got two weeks so when we get to the Canary Islands uh, it's gonna be really nice to sit outside our TV provides us with useful information including our account ship map weather and much more there is a huge selection of movies on demand all these come at no extra cost. You can also find the movies that you're able to go and see in Iona's Ocean Studios Movie Theatre on Deck 6. This is included in your cruise fare. There is information on the range of entertainment venues, dining and drinks options, Shore excursions that are available to book at the Shore Experiences desk on Deck 7. Room service is available with items being charged individually and a delivery charge of £2.50. A simple breakfast can be delivered to your room. Items come free of charge and you simply pay a delivery charge of £2.50. So that is our balcony room on deck 14 of Iona. And that's where we're going to be for the next 14 days. Just a short walk from our cabin is a laundrette where you are able to wash, dry and press your clothes free of charge should you wish to do so. So that's us on board Pino Iona at the start of our two week Christmas cruise. Um, we're going to cut the sea days. I think our first port of call is Funkshell in Madeira. It should be a little bit more sunny than here. So looking forward to seeing you in the next one.